Clayton Bishop here with High Tech Instruments, Ice Business Partner, and I wanted to go over today how to measure the grain size in your samples using Zeiss Zencore. Here we are on the home page. I'm going to go to job mode. Once I click on job mode, I'm going to come over here to grain size analysis. Now you have options for comparison, planimetric, and intercept measuring grain size analysis. We're going to do intercept today. It's going to start by giving you a form that you can fill out. These uh, data tables are going to come out in the form of a PDF at the end. So whatever you enter here, is just going to make your report look more detailed. So I'll enter some arbitrary stats here. Cool, we get the picture. I'm going to click the next arrow and it's going to direct me to choose the image that I want to measure. Using the ellipses, you can select any saved anywhere in your computer to use for this. I click next once I have the one I want it measure. You're taken to an image processing step where you can add contrast before measuring. That's just to bring out those grain boundaries more perhaps. I'll click next. Choose which intercept method you want to use. Go with the Abrams three circle type. You can edit in here the color and how wide you want it. Next comes the automatic image segmentation step. You can choose how sensitive you want this. You can press auto for the software to detect on its own where there might be some grain boundaries. You could also choose if you want dark grains or to go into the center of grains. So you can edit this on your own. You can use the auto to kind of get you close. Let's go with this. In the next step, you can manually override what the software has found by adding and removing. For instance, I see this right here. I'm going to add it. I come down here, looks good. Looks pretty good. If I wanted to remove one, like one of these, you can just click on it and remove. We'll add one right there too. Okay, right there. Then click next. It will shoot out the grain size number for you, the number of intersections. If I exit the loop, it's going to come up with this report where all those steps I did at the beginning, that data entry stored. You have your math and statistics, your original image, then the image with the intersections, and the final results that you can save as a PDF. So I hope this is helpful for everybody trying to do image analysis via grain sizing and enjoy your Zeiss Zen Core software.